guys, how are you doing? Marble is one of those things that looks fantastic when it's done right, but can take forever to do. In this video though, I'm gonna show you how to get marble that looks brilliant and get it done fast, which is much more important. Let's see. So you start off, here's a wing that I've painted for one of these dark tiles. Now we've got a load of gray blue that we've put down here. We need to preserve that. I'm gonna lock all that in place. It's had a bit of a varnish. We need to get ourselves some masking tape and some tools. The first tool we're gonna need is a X-Acto knife, just only a nice sharp blade. You're gonna want yourself some tweezers because some of what we need to do is a little bit fiddly. And there is that beautiful stuff, that Tamiya tape. This is their six mil tape. Get it on one of these little dispensers and buy the refills, it's worth its weight in gold. Something else that's worth the weight in gold is these cocktail sticks. You want these to get your tape into the corners, little nooks and crannies of your miniatures without damaging or scoring the surface of the miniature. You don't want to have one of those issues where suddenly you're finding you've, you've damaged the paint job you've already done. We're trying to protect that and here's how we're going to do it. So you start off with a little bit of tape, find one of the areas you need to mask. Now remember, anything you don't mask, you're about to paint marble. So if you've already got your paint job sorted out like I've done here, you need to do this step. So take the tape, get it into the recess, get it in there loosely with your fingernail. You know, just make sure it's, it's, it's nice and solidly pressed down. Then grab yourself one of those cocktail sticks. And gently, you're not trying to score through the tape, but you know, firmly enough to, uh, to press it right into that recess. You can even just flatten it down a little bit if you feel you need to, but get that tape right up to the edges. The more work you do now, the easier it will be and the less work you'll have to do later on you're cleaning up any of the issues that have arisen from this. Once that's in place, carefully, obviously, you know, be careful using this sharp blade. Carefully score, just using light pressure through the tape to cut right down in there. Now I am using the corner of that embossed detail and the absolute bottom layer there where we've put our paint down immediately as a guide and I'm following that guide along. You don't need a lot of pressure, you're not trying to cut through the mini, you're just trying to cut the tape. Now I'm gonna hold that tape in place right there at the end with the knife while I start to pull this away with the tweezers. Now, once you've done that, you can remove the blade. You basically don't need to pull up that little bit right at the very front there. There's a lot of adhesion, there's a lot of surface area. Strip that bit of tape away. There's the first one of our recesses, the first point of paint that we wanna try and protect, done. Here's all of it done. And now we want to start getting our first coat of paint down. We want marble with both black and gold veins. So I'm going to start off with some P3's Thramar Black, one-to-one -one mixed with Flow and Proofer. I'm going to paint the entirety of the area that we want to paint marble. It's really important that you have nice, solid coats of paint down for all of the stages that we're going to be doing here. We're going to be basically doing some stencil work. There's our black, and here's our stencil. This is one of those like use once and throw away uh, like wipes, like cleaning wipes. Basically, you want to dry it out, make sure there's no liquid left on there. You don't want to try and disinfect your mini, and just stretch it out a little bit, wiggle it around a little bit, keep doing, doing it, keep manipulating it until you've got something that looks a bit like this, something a little bit like a net. Ideally, you want a couple of larger holes in there, like we've got here, but you don't want the whole thing to be nothing but those big holes. You want to get a lot of variation. Now we're going to wrap our mini or whatever it is that you want to paint marble in this case obviously it's the wing in this make sure it's nice and tight when it's be tall like a toy girl. do that all around to ensure that you've got nice uh, solid contact with your chosen surface area if that uh, that stencil is a little bit off the miniature then your lines won't have quite as much definition now I also want gold veins in my marble. We've all seen marble done quite often. It's got more than one tone in it. So let's get a coat of gold down. Now what we're gonna get after we've done this and after the gold has dried, once we unpeel that, carefully removing our stencil. Obviously we've got tape that this could stick to. We've got paint that this could stick to. Best to leave the paint to dry or just dry it down with a hairdryer. We will have a bit of marble that is gold with black veins. But that's not the finished result I want. So I'm gonna wrap it again with another piece of that uh, that stencil, that uh, disinfectant cloth. We use some white ink. Now this we have thinned really, really thin. 
there's ink, there's flow improver, and there's water in the ratio that you saw on screen there. So you must make sure you don't drown the area. So do two or even three coats, dry it down between each one with a hairdryer, and then once again, when you unpeel the stencil we've created out of that wipe, you will end up with marble that is three tones now. You see that gold showing through, you see that black showing through, and of course you've got that beautiful white, very bright finish. Now we're taking some Vallejo model color emerald, and we're mixing this in a very weird ratio. Basically we've created a glaze out of this paint. So we've got one part paint to five parts flow improver, and then there's water in there as well. You are just gonna do several slow light passes along the back of there to you build up a nice sea green. And look at that, that's beautiful. Now we've got marble that has four colors to it really, really easily. The next step, and possibly the most important one, is some gloss varnish. Laying this down one-to-one -one with some thinner because we don't want it to be super, super gloss. We want it to have just a little bit more than a satin sheen on it. And there you can see that super, super shiny as it's wet. Once that dries, a lot of that will disappear, but it will protect all of that marble effect we've got. And now comes my favorite part. This is absolutely the best thing about working like this with all of that masking. It's taking the masking off. This is where you find out how good a job you've done on that mask. And ideally, there'll be nothing really to clean up, but get in there with your tweezers, start peeling off all that tape. And while I'm doing that, let me give a shout out to these clutch Patreons. We've got the Peckish Fox, Paul, Tim Barra, Binkleton, Dave Harkness, Danny Sharples, and Julie W. Thank you so much for supporting me over on Patreon, guys. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys want to see what they can see, which is an extra video every two weeks, and some written guides on how to do all of these things, as well as chances to get in on our giveaway, and of course, the ability to have a chat with me uh, and help decide on what we're going to be giving away, go to patreon.com forward slash Mohawk Miniatures where you can be a Patreon as well. Thanks again to every one of you. Much love, guys. So once we've got all of that removed from our mini, and you can see already just how cool this is looking. This is absolutely the best part. Oh, look at that. So clean, so smooth. And when it's all gone, my God, is that not something else? But we're not quite finished. It doesn't matter how good your masking is, you've still got to do all of your washes. You weren't gonna mask out this little tiny area. So let's get in here with some dark tone and just fill in some of those recesses. We're gonna do that little box, do these little uh, embossed bits down there. We're gonna get all of those rivets as well. And of course, we will hit that nice straight area around that leading edge of the wing just to show in some separation there. But also, look there, just in between our our wings, our feathers there, you see a little bit where the mask didn't quite cut it. So we're gonna grab some coal black and some Thramar black mix, two to one, just to drop into those recesses, even that out. I've been using Tamiya tape and masking minis for stuff like this for years. My nights are covered in hazard stripes and you're still gonna have this happen almost every time you're doing something with complex shapes. So plan ahead for it. Make sure you've got something you can use for your base coat, tidy them all up, and there you go, guys. Two wings done for the plane. These look absolutely insane. Let's get them back on the plane and see what it looks like. Absolutely stunning. So there you go, a quick version of marble. You can see this does not take long. Hopefully we'll see you for the next video. Peace out.